The Saudi U.S. mediators have announced that Sudan's warring parties have agreed to a new 72-hour ceasefire after fighting intensified with deadly airstrikes in the capital, Khartoum. The mediators said the two parties agreed that during the ceasefire period, they would refrain from movement and attacks, the use of warplanes or drones, artillery bombardment, reinforcement of positions, resupply of forces or refrain from attempting to achieve military gains. They also agreed to allow freedom of movement and the delivery of humanitarian aid throughout Sudan. The ceasefire is due to take effect on Sunday from 6 a.m. local time, the mediator said. The Sudanese army, led by Abdel Fattah Boran, has been fighting the paramilitary rapid support forces RSF, led by its former deputy Mohamed Amdan Daglo, since April 15. The war has taken a heavier toll in West Darfur, with 1,100 people killed in the capital, Al Janina, alone, according to the U.S. State Department. West Darfur Governor Khamis Abdullah Abakar was among those killed after criticizing the paramilitaries in a televised broadcast on Wednesday. The RSF denied all responsibility. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, estimates that at least 149,000 individuals have fled the fall into Chad. They are among the roughly 2.2 million Sudanese uprooted worldwide by the war, which has led more than 528,000 to seek asylum in neighboring countries, according to the International Organization for Migration. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV.